To begin this project, download the cars print zip file and place it in the folder with your name on it. As with the other projects, locate that zip file, double click on it, and uncompress the folder. Then add your name to the end of that folder. When you open up the cars folder, you'll realize there's a lot of different images that we're gonna to use to build out this particular project. So to get started, let's jump into Photoshop. And the first thing they're gonna want us to do is to open up the AMG JPEG. So let's go to File and Open. Locate your folder with your name on it. Open up the Cars folder and then open up the AMG JPEG. The next thing I'm gonna do is hit Command-0 so I can see the entire image. And also I'm gonna to go to View and make sure your rulers are checked on. Since you can see my rulers at the top and left hand side, I can see everything is okay. Next, let's go to Image, down to Image Size, and Resize and Resample our image. Let's make sure the Resample Check button is checked off, and we're going to set our resolution to 300. Remember when we click OK? Not much is going to change about the actual image itself. Because we added pixels, we reduced the size of it. So let's go up to Image and Image Size. One more time. This time we're going to resize it and change the number of pixels. And I'll show you how changing that will change the look and feel of your actual image. Click on the little preview area until you can drag and see the details within the grill. If necessary, you can zoom in so you can see these details really up close. Let's see if we can do that. When you do this, you can kind of see how this area is nice and pixelated. And regardless the size, eventually some images will become pixelated once you start zooming in on them. Now I'm going to turn back on resampling. And we're going to set the type of resampling to be enlargement. Preserve details. With the constraint button still active, we're going to set the width field to add pixels up to 8.25 inches. When it does this, this really makes the blur stand out. So to reduce the blur, or to reduce the amount of noise, we're going to set the noise reduction up to 20%. When this happens, you'll see the blur become slightly less. There'll be a little bit less blur, and you'll, reduce, you'll keep a little bit more of the detail of the image itself. It's subtle, but it's there. Now that we've done that, we'll say OK. And this will increase our image back to its original size and keep a high resolution version of it. Let's go up to File and Save. Actually, we went to Save As. This time we're going to call it Magazine. And remember to put your name at the end of it. And the format we want to save it will be as a Photoshop file. We'll hit Save and continue on to the next part. Now we need to edit the size of our canvas. Make sure your Layers panel is active and open, and you'll notice that we're only working on the background layer, and that background layer is also locked. Let's go up to Image, down to Canvas Size, and this will allow us to add more area to the work area that we have, our actual canvas. Click on the top center anchor point. This will increase the size of it from the top downward. And let's set the height of it to be 10.25. As far as the color of the canvas, once it's extended, right now it's set to the background color, but we can go ahead and set that to be white. When we say OK, notice now that this will increase the overall size of the canvas, and it'll fill in that new area with the color white. If you can't see the whole thing, you can do Command-0, and that will zoom out and fit it to your screen. Now let's undo that. We'll go to Edit and Undo Canvas Size. And if we go back down to our Layers panel, let's click on the lock and unlock the background layer, double-click on the name of it, and let's give it the layer name of Car. Now when we go back up to Image and Canvas Size one more time, Again, we're going to click on the top center reference point and change the height of it to be 10.25. You 
you'll notice that there is no canvas extension color. This is because this, uh, this option is only available if you're on the background layer. In our case, we got rid of the background layer, so there's nothing to fill it in. This time when we say OK, it's going to fill it in with just the transparent little pattern down at the bottom. This is a good stopping point, so let's go to File, down to Save, and we'll say OK to the options that just came up. This will end stage one. In stage two, we're going to talk about working with your vector tools.